Hey guys, what's going on? It is Wednesday, May 5th, 2021, Cinco de Mayo. Wow, I can't believe we're in May already. So I've been selling kind of odds and ends on eBay. Um, I've come across some things that I wanted to sell. One of the things I've come across to sell was one of my old textbooks that were it's in pretty good shape. I've only used it maybe twice reading it. Um, and that is Oracle SQL by example, the fourth edition. Here's that. So it is Thursday, May 6, 2021. And today I am attacking uh, the room, uh, the big walk-in closet that had all half of my clothes and half of my father's and my mom's. Uh, there is so much clothes that are in pretty good condition, so I'm actually going to donate them. And I've been doing that with my clothes. Uh, I have like this whole big bag full of clothes that I found. There's a couple more garments in there. Some of them are not worthy of uh, keeping. I won't donate those, but I've cleaned out the top of the closet and the top of the half side of the uh, closet with my parents' clothes in it. Um, and there are so many things that I gonna throw out and there's so many things that I found that like really worked uh, donating and even selling. Here is the closet. It was so much stuff on top of there, you know, and then half of my dad's hunt he has all hunting stuff here. I'm not gonna throw that stuff out. I'm gonna see if my brother wants it or maybe my cousin want it. And uh got a few more things of my dad's here from up to here, my parents I guess. And then this is all mine. And then I got to get to the floor. My makeshift green screen, which is going in the garbage, because I have one that I bought. Just never threw it out. My per bag my mom used to carry, like her, her purse. Uh, the movies. And my mom used to sneak in popcorn and chips, um, because everything was getting so expensive back then. And uh, we'll see in that, that actually brings back memories for me. Good memories. And um, also... Um, I wanted to thank my brother's girlfriend and my cousins um, uh, and his their wives and um, my nephew and his girlfriend uh, saying thank you very much for coming over and helping me and my brother do this. Um, to be honest, I don't didn't want to share this, but inside um, I it was tearing me up a bit, you know, throwing all these things out. Unfortunately. This was a very big task that we had to deal with, and it was so overwhelming. I mean, you deal with a lot of parents that leave stuff behind, a very cluttered house, or things that they had they have to get rid of. But to this extreme where we needed two dumpsters, and God knows if we're going to need any more dumpsters. You know, we may need another one, who knows, but I'm, I'm hoping that's not the case. But we have to throw a lot of stuff out, and again, I'm going through my stuff too that I'm gonna wind up going through and I'm gonna probably just toss, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, the dust went up my nose from the clothes. Also, one thing, uh, a conversation my brother and I had together, and I didn't wanna put this out there, but the reason why my brother is very, and he, he admitted to it, he was very bossy, but he's very bossy type, oh, get this, get that. Yeah, dude, yeah, go finish that over there. And he's like that. And things have to move, and yeah, things have to move. We have to get going, you know? And it's not like I'm dragging my feet. Deal dealing with all these things physically with me and all the medical stuff I have going on, I pushed myself so much that I was in so much pain that I'm feeling the effects of everything now. Even the couple days that I had stopped, you know, or I came home from church Sunday, I was exhausted, exhausted. I was really, you know, tired. You know, and I'm thankful a lot of my appointments I had pushed away. Like I pushed off, I put off a bit, just or a week or so, a week and a half. So that way I'm not around dust and I'm not going crazy so I can get the shot in my eye. I can talk to uh, my one of my other doctors and I can do that. You know, so, you know, it's not that I'm put it off like I did before when it was my dad and his situation and all his, his needs. Um, I had to do that. So, you know, it's the only way. You know, I just hope and I pray, you know, God has, and I, tr I trust in God that he's going to put me in, into a position where I'm like maybe in a situation, in a setting like this, where I have just enough to keep me going, 
and that I can have my friends over, you know, Bible study and, you know, prayer and, 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 and you know, or just a card game or something, you know, a night and we'll watch a movie, you know what I'm saying? So I, I want those things. I want to continue doing it. But unfortunately, my situation, I couldn't have nobody over because the, the table was constantly full of mess and it was horrible. My dad was a hoarder and I couldn't clean up after my father because... If I did, my dad would be infuriate, furious with me. Don't touch this. Don't touch that. So it, I was dealing with a, a non a person that was not compliant, and he wouldn't like try to do anything. I mean, he was an, a, a man in his elderly suffering. He didn't want to change, and unfortunately, I made the change for myself. And yeah, I got caught up in a lot of clutter myself, but it's not that I have to be yanked and pulled to do things. Now I'm doing it because I want it done. I'm sick and tired of dealing with it. I don't want to deal with it anymore. It's because of having so much stuff, so many things. It, it, it's got to it's gotta go, go, all go. I'm tired. I don't want to deal with this anymore. I've dealt with it all my life. I've dealt with it even by myself. And it has transformed me into this person that I don't want to become. But I'm thanking God that every day that he's allowing me little by little by little by little to make the changes. And I've made a change. And nobody could say that I did not do anything. That I sat back. I sat on my, my behind and I didn't do anything. And I didn't want to do anything. This does not show what you've seen I've showed you. That I have not done nothing. You know, I have, yes, I have to transition a lot of stuff to the garage. That's going to take time, but I got to remember one thing. I haven't eaten and I'm starting to get a little shaky at a point. And my sugar has, you know, though I'm doing keto and though I've cheated a bit, I still don't fall over 300 or even 250. I'm like maybe 220 the max. Other than that, I'm on 100, uh, 50, 130, 120. I'm doing pretty good. So, but I still have to worry because at times... I start to get dizzy, and I, it's like I walk, I'm like like drunk, and it's not good. And it has a lot to do with my balance of my body, you know, and my neuropathy also. So my I'm not perfect. I may get my sugar down to 6.5, but that doesn't mean that everything is all hunky-dory. That, okay, you got your sugar down to normal as a diabetic. You should be okay now. No, it's not. And you know what? I wasn't expecting that to happen. I knew that I still have the complications. I still have the thing. And I have not yet told my doctor about the, the drunk, like almost like I'm wobbly and, and, and all that stuff, how I feel. That I got to sit down and all that stuff. I have never shared that with him. And I'm going to tell him it's been going on for about over two years now. I've never got this before. And I think it has a lot to do with how the diabetes has hit me. So, you know... Um, Remember, you're coming from a diabetic who had an A1C of 11 and 12 and 13. Going back to normal is kind of uh, a little scary because it, it, the body's changed, you know. So that's why I think, you know, I don't know. I'm hoping that this that would all maybe subside or I may have it for the rest of my life, depending on how I feel or what happens. So, you know, it sucks being... Um, having a disabled issue you know and everything has just took a toll on my body uh it's been a busy day and um i just had a friend of my, me and my dad's uh come over with um his son and and his and the cousin and uh we had them rip up the rugs in the house um in two bedrooms my dad's bedroom and the small bedroom that i used to sleep in um that's been taken up um, we had some wood removed. Come to find out, there was a lot of dust underneath the bottom of the, of the uh, carpets and stuff like that. So uh, I gave them my shop vac to try to pick it up, and it was over, overbearing. I had to open windows and doors and uh, air out this place. They got the majority of the dust, but there is still dirt and stuff. They tried sweeping up, but they have to get to the rest of it.
get kind of dizzy because I'm minor of my diabetes and stuff. I got it. So it's about 8.30 now. I just like, I, I sat down for a little bit. I had to do something on the computer very quickly. Just flush my nose out. <laughs> I got dust up my nose. Still bothering me. I just closed the windows. It's freezing. And the, and the door, the screen, I'm freezing. So I am got to get something to eat. I haven't ate nothing all day. I've been at this all day. Um, I haven't stopped. And, um, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I got to work on my other, my room. I mean, I don't know how much people think I can get done. I mean, I'm killing myself already. I'm hoping to God that, you know, I, I, there's a lot I have to do. I mean, whatever. I, my car is running. Um, so I got to go. I ordered something. And um, like I said, I'm my sugar is at 105. And I'm starting to feel weak. Yeah, so I gotta get 106. I gotta get going and pick up. I ordered something, like wings, um, and uh, that's it. So, you know, that's what I do. All right, let me go get this stuff. I'll see you guys.